about Tipperary, though. Well, he's, uh, Eddie Cernich says in this note that he was born in Dublin Gulch. But his well, that's, dad... That's where they moved. Yeah. Where they sold that. Shimmy was his dad. They moved up there. Shimmy was his dad. Yeah. Uh, he was a baseball player or something? Yeah, he was great. He yeah. was a truant officer, was he? Yeah, he was a truant yeah. officer? Yeah. Shimmy was. Shimmy was. Okay, so tell me some more. I'm ready to go through these if you want to. These are the ones that I got from uh, Neil Lynch, and uh, they are taken 30 years ago. And there's still a lot of things you can recognize here. I can put them both of them. Some of you will probably, and I guess this is a nice, let's see. This picture here, I don't know why this is There are pretty nice pictures, really. Yeah. Probably this doesn't do them justice, but we can. You can see the Holy Savior School, Holy Savior Convent, and Holy Savior Church and School taken from different angles. Now, what he did is he went like and said, looking north on Lafayette from East Butte. So this picture is actually the top street of McQueen. And uh, I don't know how to I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, it's, it's headed right towards where I live, Cottonwood Street. Yeah. 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 So, this one is looking west on Maple Street from Lafayette. So Maple Street was one, I don't know. Yeah, Hazel and Maple. Hazel and Maple. Yeah, and this one looking north on Lafayette from Hazel. Now, I think, Vince, this is sort of about where your house was, wasn't it? No, I'm up way above. Oh. I'm caught on old. You, you, so you'd be up here. That had been I think, right now. Lynch used to live there. I'll pass these around while I'm out. Uh, you can look at them and pass them around. Antics. Sciatic. Sciatic. Your house would be on the right. Yes, yeah, yeah. would be on the right. But I notice is you can see the, the pit in the background. Oh, okay. Yo. You know, you can see that the pit's been in operation for maybe 10 years. Hazel and Lafayette. Yeah. That's, that's on these pictures. Yeah. 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 Here again is a pit. You got yeah. Hazel. You know, if I look, what you call the way the streets ran, and I'll pass this around too. This has a lot of names that we have. Here's Cottonwood, which is the farthest north. Leatherwood, U, Oak, Spruce, Spruce Willow, Maple. Hazel, and Maple. So great, the very end. And what, the, what he has done is taken like a picture from here, looking that way, right. and from here, looking that way. He's just gone to every corner of McQueen and, and looked and took pictures of it. And that's what you see in passing her out there. The uh, a lot of you will see your names on here for sure. Like you know, here's Mark Sherrick, here's Peachy, here's all the people sitting in here. Uh, who were in McQueen have, uh, I sort of constructed this from, like I said, what the Anaconda Company did is use these maps to buy out McQueen. And before, I don't know if you're aware of this, but before they moved or buried any house, they went and took a picture of it. And they put it on one of these cards. So every house in McQueen and Meaderville is on one of these cards. It's at the courthouse. And in my efforts to rebuild McQueen in my own mind, that's where I get a lot of my pictures. Because I, uh, I try to, I keep these in my office, you know. And when, when I'm bored stiff and I can't stand my job and things like that, I look at, you know, like here's the one in Meterville. Sofa had this last time. Here's McQueen, here's Meterville. And I can picture myself, you know, Neil was one of my good friends, and. And here's the playground between the two schools. After school, we'd go down Leatherwood Street to Neil's house, where Sconfienzas was. Then we'd head up in the hills behind Meterville. And that was the way we entertained ourselves. Yeah. Or a bunch of us would go down later in later years, go down to the, the ball field, and we'd spend the whole day down there. 
But Neil had give you some breadsticks. Yeah, his dad always had, Neil had food. He was the rich kid from Meterville. <laughs> <laughs>